All right, Brad Travers is here with you from expertaffiliatetraining.com. And today I got a video to show you how to host a domain that you purchased through another domain registrar, how to host that on Bluehost, and then install WordPress. The domain registrar I'm using is Namecheap. That's where I get all of my domains. So let me show you how to do that. All right, and here we are in the Namecheap uh, control panel. So all I'm gonna do is go down and find my domain. All right, go down, go to next. All right, here it is, I got findpeopleonline.org. All right, so if I go right here, I'm gonna see over here on my left-hand side, you see this link right here is transfer DNS to web host. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. All right, and for Bluehost, name servers are the same. And it tells you right there on the Bluehost website exactly what these need to be. NS1 and NS2. All right, then I'm gonna come down here and save changes. And it's gonna process. And sometimes this takes a few hours to uh, get uh, get the hosting over to Bluehost. It's actually you, uh, historically uh, or recently been been very fast actually. So, but if you go to Bluehost and this doesn't work, uh, just give it a few hours. It may work. All right, and there I am. Uh, domain name servers are updated, and now I'm going to head over to Bluehost. All right, in the Bluehost control panel. I need to, so now what I need to do, the, the hosting has been transferred over to Bluehost. So now what I need to do is add that domain uh, to Bluehost's control panel. So all I do is I go down to Domain Manager over here uh, at the top. All right, over here in the shortcuts, it says assign a domain to your control panel account. All right, I'm going to click on that. All right, so enter domain. Uh, if I had bought a domain through Bluehost, it would be up here in this little dropdown. But since I didn't, I used Namecheap. I'm gonna go right here. And I'm gonna type in my domain. And over here, it's gonna verify. And you can see verify ownership. It popped in right away. The name service for the domain are currently set to Bluehost. You can see the two I entered. So that means it was uh, already transferred over. So really quick. And then I'm just leaving everything else the same. I'm just gonna come down and hit add domain. And then Bluehost is going to get that domain added to the control panel, which is gonna allow me to install WordPress. Now this right here will take just a few minutes. Um, it, the process is gonna be very similar uh, no matter which domain registrar you use. I just use Namecheap, so that's what I'm showing you here today, but uh, the process is pretty much the same for uh, no matter whatever domain registrar you, you decide to use. So, all right, so this takes a couple of seconds to think, so I'm just going to pause the video for a second and let it do it, let it do its thing here. All right, so now we're back, and you can see uh, Bluehost brings me to the screen to the summary. It says created domain records, successfully assigned my domain as an add-on domain. So we are good to go. So now I can install WordPress. So I'm going to come over to my control panel in Bluehost. Okay, this takes just a second. All right, and I'm going to scroll down, and it's very simple. I'm going to come down to Site Builders. I'm going to hit WordPress. I'm going to click on that. It's going to bring me over to install WordPress. I'm just going to come down to the bottom here. It says install WordPress. I'm going to hit that. All right, here I am. So it's going to tell me which version of WordPress. I always just do the latest. You can click here, and the, the one at the top is always going to be the, the latest WordPress version out there. And then which domain do I want it to install WordPress with? I'm going to go and find the one I just added. All right. 
Then I come down to step two and hit, excuse me, the advanced options. I want to hit click here to display so I can see that. All right, so what I want to do here is I'm actually going to um, select whatever username I want for my WordPress uh, control panel and then the password. I'm going to save that to the end because I'm going to actually pause when I do that. Plugins and themes, I actually just uncheck all that. I like to install my own plugins and themes on WordPress. Come down to the legal information, hit I have read the terms and conditions. Uh, I'm going to pause it, enter my what I want my username and password to be for this site, and then I'm just going to come down here and hit complete. So I will resume the video as soon as that process is done. All right, when, when, when Bluehost is done installing WordPress for me, it provides me a login URL. URL. All I do is click it and it brings me to my WordPress control panel. And then all I do is enter my admin password, that I, excuse me, admin username and password I created. All right. Remember me. All right, and here I am inside WordPress. So just like that, I took my domain from that I purchased on Namecheap, transferred it over to Bluehost, and then um, set up WordPress. So it's that simple. And now I'll get into actually uh, customizing my affiliate website here on WordPress. So. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, please head over to expertaffiliatetraining.com and hit me up and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. You can also find more tips and how-to videos just like this at expertaffiliatetraining.com. I'm Brad Travers and I will see you in the next video.